This is Carmela with Equine Helper and today I wanted to give you five super simple and easy groundwork exercises to do with your horse. So groundwork is groundwork is basically anything you do with your horse while you're on the ground and it can be like working your horse around you or just doing basic things you do every day like leading your horse and stuff like that. And Groundwork is considered the foundation of horse training. So if you think you may be having just some relational issues with your horse, the best place to start is with groundwork. So I've come up with five groundwork exercises um, that will be super simple and easy to do with your horse, but that will also help to communicate a message to them as well. My first exercise that I like to do with my horse is to teach them to stand still and it is exactly as it sounds. So all I'm gonna do is, um, I'll have my lead rope and halter on my horse, and I like to stand a few feet in front of my horse, um, facing them, and if they move out of the position that I put them in, then I'm just gonna ask them to back up or step back right to where they were. So I do that by shaking the lead rope, and that signals for your horse to back up. And so we'll do this until the horse can stand there uh, without moving for quite some time. And that way I know that they're looking to me for guidance. I'm looking, they're looking to me to see what they need to do next. So this will really get your horse paying attention on your cues instead of focusing on other stuff that may be going on around them. My second exercise that I like to do is to train my horse to lead properly. So I've noticed that some horses can be really bad about leading. Like they'll either like to run out in front of you and drag you off or <laughs> they'll like to make you drag them. They don't want to walk up with you. So both these instances are where the horse is not focused on you. Instead they're focusing on other things. If your horse was focused on you, that means they respond quickly to your body language. So teaching your horse to properly lead will teach them to respond to your body language. That means if you slow your speed while walking, they should slow theirs. If you speed up your speed while walking, they should speed up as well. So the, the position your horse should be at when you're leading is kind of right at your elbow, like their nose should be level with your elbow. You don't really want them out in front of you, you don't want them behind you, you want them beside you. So if they were to spook at something, they wouldn't run you over or drag you away. So how I do this is I basically just lead my horse and I'll have them do a bunch of different things. I'll ask them to speed up, I'll ask them to slow down, to stop, and I'm just requiring quick reactions from the horse. So I'll usually have my lunge whip with me. Once again, never smack your horse with the lunge whip, but I have it with me just to kind of cue them if I need it. So I'll have that out to my side and if I have a lazy horse, I'll use the lunge whip on the ground behind them to get them to move up. And so what I'm looking for is if a horse starts walking up ahead of me, I'll just make him back up like I did with the standing still. I'll just shake the lead rope and ask them to back up. And if they're dragging behind me, I'll just ask them to move up beside me. And, you know, just do a lot of repetition with this. And sooner or later, your horse will be responding quickly and respecting you, respecting your body language, and looking to you for what they should do next. My next um, exercise I like to do is I like to teach my horse how to flex and how to soften. So when a horse flexes, it's basically the muscles in its neck allowing it to go like this. So how I begin teaching this to my horses is I will just take the lead rope and put it up to the withers and I'll wiggle my fingers and I'll ask them to turn their head and what I'm looking for is I want them uh, to turn their head so where their nose is almost at their withers. Uh, that means they're respecting the pressure that I'm applying and this will help greatly with getting them to um, respect the bit and the pressure you apply to the bit. If your horse will stick its head out like this, <laughs> it's usually not respecting the bit. So this will get that response you want. So if I put pressure on my reins this way, they're gonna go like this. If I put pressure on this side, they'll go like that. 
And also I teach them to soften. So softening is when um, you ask your horse to lower its head. And this can help if your horse tends to stick its head up in the air when you're trying to put the bridle on or the halter on. And it can also help um, to teach the horse to, for example, if they were to stick their head through the fence and they got it stuck, instead of freaking out, they'd know just to keep it lowered so they can avoid injury. So what I do is I usually put one of my hands on top of the horse's pole and then I put my other hand at the base of the lead rope and all I'm going to do is apply light pressure from both directions and asking the horse to lower its head. As soon as I see the horse drop its nose, kind of like that, I'll release the pressure. And this way the horse learns to respond to the pressure and I'll get to a point where I can ask them to lower their nose all the way to the ground. Um, the important thing to do with this exercise is a lot of horses in the beginning will fight the pressure, so they'll kind of brace and go like this. Um, it's important to just keep applying the pressure and don't let up until you get that release. Okay, my fourth exercise I do is I train my horse to go on a circle around me. So, I mean, this is, when I say groundwork, this is probably what everyone thinks of. It's just getting your horse to go in a circle around you whether that's on a lead line or free lunging. Um, this is also called lunging. So what I do with this is I just kind of cue my horse to keep walking past me. Um, I'll have my lunge whip so if they get confused in the beginning I'll just kind of use it to push them forward and ask them to keep going. If your horse has never done this before they'll probably try to find the boundaries of the rope so you'll probably feel like they're pulling you a lot in the beginning. Um, if they do this just kinda jostle the rope a little bit and ask them to focus back on you. And this is a great exercise because you can use it for a number of things. So I use this exercise if I notice my horse may be a little full of itself that day. I'll just put them on the lead rope and lunge them until I can tell they're good and calm. It'll help them burn their energy. And this can also be used to discipline your horse in a way. So the best example I guess would be if I'm leading my horse and suddenly the horse pulls me down to eat the grass. Well, that's bad behavior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the horse to trot around me in a circle for quite a few minutes until they get tired. and. What I'm trying to do here is teach the horse that it's going to be more work to eat the grass than to, you know, walk correctly with me. And so you can use that in both ways, you know, kind of to wear your horse out if you need to, but also to teach them, you know, what's wrong and what's right. Because horses don't like to work, you know, humans don't like to work either. So they want to do the least amount of work as possible. My fifth point is training your horse to move their front end and their hind end. So if you've ever seen those beautiful show horses in the dressage ring, you know, they're doing leg yields, they're doing shoulder ends and side passes and all that lovely stuff. That uh, training basically starts with this exercise, teaching your horse to move its hind end and its front end. So what I'm looking for in this exercise is for my horse to step whether it's the front feet or the hind feet, I want the legs to step over one another. So like they're going to be crossing their legs. So I'll start with the hind end. And how I ask the horse to do this is pretty much like asking them to flex. You can start by bringing your hand with the lead rope up to the withers, applying pressure. So your horse's nose is going to turn in. And then I'll just take the lead rope and kind of swing it at their hind end and they'll step away and you'll notice that they'll cross their feet. As soon as they step away, you can reward them, tell them good job because that's what you're looking for. So this is also called disengaging the hind end and believe it or not, this is like the emergency brake for horses. So if you ever feel like your horse is going to take off or buck or rear, it's usually because they have all this power built up in their hind end which allows them to do those things. So by disengaging the hind end and getting them to step their hind legs one over another, it's kind of taking that power away. And so you can avoid a lot of bad situations if you can disengage their hind end. Okay, and so moving the front end 
it's super fun and um, it's great for your horse to do. It's learning to move the horse's shoulders. So how I do this is I just stand in front of them, a few feet in front of them, and I'm just gonna take my lead rope or my lunge whip and I'll just kind of wave it at the shoulder that I want to move away. Um, and as soon as they step away from that pressure, I'm gonna release. And so what I'm looking for is for them to cross their front legs one in front of the other. Um, and this is just great training. It'll teach the horse to kind of respect your personal space. So if I'm standing in front of them when I ask them, they can either walk into my space and disobey my command or they can step out and away from my space. So it's really teaching them to respect you, to respect where you are. If you'd like more information on these groundwork exercises or like to see the illustrated form, you can go to equinehopper.com groundwork to read our article. And once again, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope this will help you with your horse and have a great day.